This video is to give an update on the topographic table project. If you haven't seen the last video, I recommend going through and just watching that really quick. It'll talk about the software limitations that I ran into and also an idea of how to speed up the topographic projection image. Uh, most of the tables that you've seen on the internet have a refresh rate of about three to six frames per second. I have an idea to get it up to 30 frames per second, either using the Connect 360 or the Connect for PC. So let's go ahead and look at the table construction though. As you can see, it's uh, all put together. It's a bit janky, but it works. Um, the way the projector is currently aligned, uh, you can see that the top of the projector image and the bottom of the projected image are aligned with the, the table length. And then um, the width though goes off to the sides, but we can put blinders on the projected beam or the projected image, and that shouldn't be a problem at all. I have the Connect 360 connected to the top of the projector using uh, Velcro. If you wanted to connect for PC, we would need 3M tape, which I also got, but I didn't install uh, because the Connect for 3C is, is, is a lot more heavier than the Connect 360. Uh, those all will feed down to the computer will be on the bottom tray where the power supply and everything else. Um, everything should work uh, properly once we get the software loaded and we can, again, if you haven't seen the previous video, get the implementation that we desire to go on it. The threading of the bolts and the screws on the, the wedge that attached to the projector and which is in self attached to the beam are all adjustable so that you can get the good alignment. It is using a uh, quarter inch thread for the projector, which is a uh, standard tripod thread. So uh, it'll connect that way. It has a little bolt that'll secure it. The rest of the bolts are uh, 5 16th bolts to get a nice firm grip on them. Those can be loosened if you need to transport it. The arm again is too high to fit through a door. So it'll need to be removed if you want to take the table to a local school for a demonstration or anything. It shouldn't be a problem to disassemble and reassemble. It should be pretty quick as long as you have the, the right tool to bring. Other than that, everything is working good. During the next Friday Night Lab, I'll go ahead and bring it and assemble it there and we can um, take a look at it and show it off there. All right, thanks.